Hi, this is Jeff Watts here, and this is a short video to briefly explain the concept behind Team Mastery. So it's not just another book. If you're familiar with Scrum Mastery and you're familiar with Product Mastery, you'll you'll know that I, I tend to write stories about actual teams. So teams that I've been involved with in the past or seen, and they've been slightly fictionalized to, to, to remain anonymous, uh, but they are based on real life. And they highlight the difference between doing something to a good level and doing something to a great level. So picking out the differences between the good scrum masters and the great scrum masters. It's all good stuff, but there are some things that great scrum masters, great product owners, and in the case of this book, great agile teams consistently do that set them apart from the others. And so the hope here is that you can learn from those stories. There are 10 stories covering the, the main characteristics of great teams that I've found from my years working with them. All great teams have a habit of self-improvement. They build that into what they do. They take quality incredibly seriously. They, they establish and nurture a sense of unity among themselves. They, uh, they're very audacious. They, they push themselves. They're brave. They take risks. They, they, they don't just settle. They're not complacent. And finally, they don't let anything get in the way of delivery because delivery is also important to them. So those, those squad characteristics are, are, are common amongst all the great teams that I've seen. Uh, but every team is unique. okay. And so what great means for one team doesn't necessarily equal what great means for another team. And I've tried to incorporate that in the, in the second part of this book, which is, which is what makes it a, a sort of practical tool rather than just a theoretical learning resource and that is the 50 milestone cards at the back so what is a milestone card well literally it is a card um, so it would be a, a card that, um, that that when a team hits that that certain level of maturity they can then tear out literally so you see these book these cards so perforated pages so they come out nice so this one says today we facilitated ourselves we managed to run a session ourselves, we didn't need a facilitator, we achieved something, uh, and we kept to time. So why is that important? Well, self-organizing teams, and great teams, they, they, they are able to work with themselves, they're able to facilitate themselves towards results. They can they can take into account people's opinions, they can hear each other, they can they don't need someone to, to mediate, they don't need someone to, to hold an agenda, to keep people to time, to capture actions. They can do that themselves. And then that gives them a great sense of capacity, autonomy, um, agency. And it speeds things up as well. So on the back of the cards, as well as the, the really cool illustration by Roy Stokes and my fantastic illustrator, there are three there are four things. So there's risks, there are risks associated with working towards any of these. Um, milestones so there's going to be hard work involved you also might upset the apple cart so facilitating yourselves the first few sessions that you try this it might not go so well uh, and the people that do that might not feel able to be involved as much it might drag on it might not be as uh, the results might not be as good as if you had a professional facilitator and so on so there are some downsides to these things but the benefits are also there and i magnify those bring those out quite explicitly on the back of the cards the third thing about uh, about these milestones and that is the rituals. So what things can you put in place to help working towards something new, something different, a little bit easier and make it stick more and stick for longer? So there are some ideas for rituals that you can put in place to, to establish these things quicker and easier and more effectively. And the fourth thing is, is as you see at the bottom there, a QR code. So each of these cards has its own QR code, which links to a unique web page, which contains a number of different resources. These can be videos, blog posts, articles, um, uh, training modules, anything that anything that I've found have been quite useful. Books that that teams can use to either understand that milestone more, uh, make it easier to put into practice, or amplify what they get from it. And my hope is that that will become much more of a community sourced resource pool because anybody can add what resources they found to be useful to that page and then anybody else who scans that QR can go and see what other people around the world have done to help make that milestone a reality or to get the most out of it. That's my hope. My hope is that it becomes a very social thing, a very very networked thing uh, and we can all learn from each other and help more and more teams go from good to great. Well I hope that explains the concept behind it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how people use this in practice. Some of the teams that have used this in its sort of prototype stage have really, really enjoyed it. Um, 
there have been two typical ways that teams have used the cards. The first one is reflection and realization. So they'll take regular time out to think, okay, so how are we doing as a team? And realize, oh, we've hit that milestone. Let's tear that card out. Let's stick that in our team journal. Let's brag about that on social media. Um, and, and just embed that as the next step along the, the path to greatness for that particular team. The second way that teams have used that card is to pick one that they like the sound of, that they think would be valuable to them, and then consciously, proactively work towards achieving it. Now, it's not the one's right or one's wrong, and, whatever, and it could be a mixture. It can be a mixture of those two different approaches. Whatever works for your team. Anyway, I've waffled for far too long. I'm really keen to hear how teams get on using this. I'm really excited about it. I think it could be a game changer for a lot of teams out there. But let me know what you think. Take care, everybody.